Oh, now let's get started on how to set up your garlic powder business proper. And we're going to start with the production stage. Now, the first thing you want to do to create or to process garlic powder is to prepare the garlic. Separate the cloves from the bulb and then peel them. You can use a knife or you can use this trick of just shaking the cloves in a sealed container to loosen the skins. The next thing you want to do is dehydrate the garlic. You could use a dehydrator if you have that or an oven if you have that. Now, using a dehydrator, you slice the garlic cloves thinly and then you spread them in a single layer on the dehydrator trays. Dry at a low temperature, around 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 66 degrees Celsius for 6 to 8 hours or until completely dry and brittle. Trust me, you don't want it to have moisture because moisture is going to reduce the shelf life i mean how long the products can stay then also if you're using an oven if you don't have a dehydrator thinly slice the garlic and place it on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper use the lowest heat setting around 170 degrees fahrenheit or 75 degrees celsius with the oven door slightly ajar that is slightly open to allow moisture to escape dry for several hours checking and flipping the slices occasionally until you notice that things the slices are completely dry then you go to the next day which is grinding the garlic once the garlic is completely dry and brittle grind it into a fine powder using a coffee grinder a blender or a mortar and pistol then the next thing you want to do is to sift the powder Sift the powder using a fine mesh sieve to remove any larger pieces and then these larger pieces can be reground if you so desire. Now that is how to make garlic powder at home but for commercial purposes some extra steps are going to be involved. Now you know for commercial purposes you're going to you're going to involve a larger scale drying method and then additional steps you know just to improve your consistency and then the shelf life now the extra steps for a commercial purpose is that you're going to have to put in anti-caking agents so these are added to prevent the powder from clumping you don't want them after a while you sold to your customers and then they open the product and the product is all glued together you know now you know how it is like when you just open a product it just it doesn't say well of your brand so you want to put in anti-caking agents and then also proper packaging so the finished garlic powder is packaged in an airtight container to maintain freshness and also to prevent spoilage now i have some additional tips for you yes have you heard of roasted garlic powder interesting so some commercial producers roast the garlic before drying which can help to create a deeper richer flavor just just imagine how flavorful garlic is on a on a good day without roasting and then imagine when it's been roasted i mean it's definitely going to make your brand stand out so you want to check that out also freshness something i also want to talk about to so commercially produce garlic powder may contain preservatives to extend your shelf life because the homemade powder will have a shorter shelf life you want a product to be able to stay on the shelves of your supermarket the shelves of your store for a very long time you don't want to be wasting um, all the money you have spent into producing um, a particular batch simply because maybe the moisture content was high or simply because you didn't put preservatives so preservatives is something that you want to look into and then also proper labeling on your product that oh there's preservative in this for people that might not want to patronize because of that